Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create active links on scroll for one page Divi website. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. To achieve our final result, we'll be using a lot of uh, CSS. So if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will include the link to the post, which has all the CSS code in the show notes below. Okay, so let's start off with uh, inspiration for today's tutorial. So um, our inspiration comes from uh, filmschool.berlin. So you can see here as we scroll, right, uh, if you take a look at the menu here, this will go straight to the part on the page which has that information. We are going to design something similar to this. So let's go into our WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is it is to install a plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. The plugin that we need to install is called the page scroll to ID plugin. So I'm going to come over here and search for it. Okay, so here we go. So we've got it here, page scroll to ID, click on install now. And then uh, after it's completed installing, what you want to do is to activate that plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and click on activate. And we can see it's, it's right here in the plugins. So next, what we need to do is to enable vertical navigation. So in order for us to do that, we need to come over here to Divi, click on Theme Customizer, and then we want to go into Header and Navigation, Header Format, and then select Enable Vertical Navigation. So now we can see our navigation here is now on the left and it's vertical. So let's go ahead and save and publish because the next step is to enable fixed navigation. So I'm going to close out of this, and then we're going to come over here to Divi, click on Theme Options, and then right here, you can see fixed navigation bar enabled. So we just have to make sure that this is enabled. So in, in your case, if it's not enabled, just go ahead and click on save changes to commit to that. Now let's go to our plugin and do some customization. So let's come over here to plugins, click on installed plugins. And then we need to click here where it says settings on the page scroll to ID plugin. So I'm going to select settings. So you want to make sure that enable on WordPress menu links, this is checked. Here on the scroll duration, let's uh, set this to 200 milliseconds. Auto adjust scrolling duration, that's fine. We can leave it as checked. So for the scroll animation easing, uh, let's select linear for this. The scroll behavior, we need to make sure that this is checked. Stop page scrolling on mouse wheel or touch swipe. Let's select this and uh, enable this because that's quite important. Okay, so next let's take a look at uh, the next setting, which is the page layout. And here we need to set it to auto. Right, so let's scroll down here and uh, we need to come over here on to allow only one highlight element at a time. This is very important. Let's make sure that this is checked. And then over here, keep the current element highlighted until the next one comes into view. Let's check this as well. Highlight by target. Let's check this too. Right, so for the links behavior, uh, let's uh, check this box as well. And then finally, here under the advanced options, we need to make sure that normalize anchor points targets is checked. And then after you've done this, just click on save changes. Right, so now that we have all these settings in place, the next thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on um, add new. And then I'm just going to call this one page like that. Click on Use Divi Builder. And we're going to come over here and click on Use Visual Builder. Right, so what, we're not, what we need to do here is to create different sections. Okay, so we have one here by default. So I'm just going to duplicate this a few more times. And then to differentiate these, I'm just going to add some background colors. So I'm going to start over here with the first one. I'm going to add a background color here. I'll make this red. I'm going to save this. Go on to the next one. So this is what you need to do. And the reason why I'm doing this is just to differentiate all my sections because without these background colors, I can't tell which is what. Right, so now it's time to add our CSS IDs and classes onto our section. So I'm gonna start off with the first one here, click on this gear icon and then click the advanced tab. So over here, we're gonna click on CSS ID and classes. And right here for our class, I'm gonna enter PS2 ID and for the uh, CSS ID, I'm just going to name this home because this is going to be the area that uh, links to my home page information. So I'm going to do the rest for all these other sections 
and just name my CSS ID as the page. So for example, here on the next one, my CSS ID is going to be DV tutorial and my CSS class is going to be PS to ID. So just go ahead and do that for the rest of the sections. Another important thing that I haven't explained is these links that you're adding here need to be custom links. So let me just go into my menu and show you how to create those. So I'm gonna come over here to appearance, click on menus. So in order for you to create your custom links, in fact, uh, let me create a brand new menu. So I'm gonna come over here to create new and let's just call this one page. That, create menu. So to create your custom links, you need to come over here to custom links add your URL here. I'm just adding a blank one for now. And then here you need to add your first page. Click to add to menu. And once you're done with all of that, you need to make sure that you select primary menu to, to make sure that this menu becomes the main menu on your website. So I'm gonna go come over here and click, and click on save menu. So all you have to do is to add your pages to this menu. And these are the pages that will reference your sections. And then the other thing that is also important is to come over here to your screen options and make sure CSS classes is checked because we need to come over here and add our CSS class. So here where it says CSS class optional, this is where we need to paste our CSS class PS to ID. So once you've added all your custom links and the CSS classes, the next thing we need to do is to go and style our menu. So we're going to come over here to Divi theme customizer, and then we're gonna click on header and navigation. So let's go into the primary menu bar. So hide logo image, yes, we're gonna say yes for that. And uh, max logo height, this is gonna be 83. Menu top margin, zero, that's fine. And then here on the text size, we're gonna set this to 14. And for the letter spacing, we're gonna set that to minus one. And our font here is going to be later light. And uh, we've also made it all caps for the font style. So for the text color, we're gonna set this to white. The anchor links need to be also set to white. And then over here for our background color, I'm just gonna go in and set our background color. So it's gonna be an RGBA value. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. So you can see now it's transparent. And then for our drop down background color, we're gonna do the same. We're just gonna add our RGBA value in here like that. Now it's time to add our custom CSS. So I'm gonna click on save and publish. And then I'm gonna go back a few steps until I see additional CSS. Click on additional CSS. And this is where we're gonna paste our CSS code like that. There's also another piece of CSS code that we need to enter in here. So I'm just gonna paste it in. And then I'm going to click on save and publish. So we're gonna come over here to our page, which we are creating for this layout. And we're gonna make sure that in each section, we're gonna add a divider, which is about 500 pixels. Now that divider just uh, pretty much is a placeholder of any content that you need to have on that section. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of these sections in order for us to see that uh, this feature is working. Right, so you can see I've added all my dividers in, in these different sections. As, and as I'm scrolling, you can see now that um, this is taking effect. So what I'm gonna do now is to save, and then we're gonna test to see if this is working. So just to recap, to make sure that this is working, you need to make sure that you come over here to your custom links and um, your links here need to have the hashtag. This is something that I uh, didn't mention earlier on. So you need to have the hashtag and the name of the section that you need to link to. And obviously you also need to have this PS to ID. So you need to have this on all your links here. As you can see, I have that hashtag. You also need to come here into the section settings. So I'm gonna click on the settings. And if you come over here to advanced, you can see that our CSS ID is home and the CSS class is PS to ID. So once all that is in place, everything should be working fine. And now we can see that our page is highlighted here as DV tutorial. So if I start scrolling, we can see now that uh, it's changing as I'm going through the pages. Excellent. Right, so let me click on the on these links as well so you can see when I start clicking on these links, it then scrolls to that particular place on the page. Pretty cool. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.